Well, there's something to be said about really good food that just reminds you of home. And at Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli, that's exactly what they have. Our Foodie Friday crew had the pleasure of trying some of it at their Rehoboth location with the man himself, Warren Rosenfeld. Take a look. Welcome to another episode of Foodie Friday. This week we're in Rehoboth Beach at a place that's become, well, pretty famous on Delmarva, Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli. Now, why are they so famous, you might ask? Well, simply put, they're the best around. Let's go check them out. Growing up in the D.C. metro area as a young mixed Jewish kid, the deli was a place that just felt like home. But whether you're Jewish or not, if you grew up in the city sprawled across the mid-Atlantic, then Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli will in some way likely remind you of your childhood too. So when they walk in here and see the black and white cookie or see the pastrami in the window or whatever, they just, you know, they tear up actually. I mean, we've had a lot of people just really tear up when they're seeing the matzo ball soup or seeing the stuff their grandmother used to make, like noodle kugel, that kind of stuff. And speaking of that matzo ball soup, you know we had to give it a try. At Rosenfeld's, they make theirs just the way Nana used to make big and fluffy, sitting ever so perfectly in a hearty chicken broth. It's light, it's fluffy, but the broth yeah, is really flavorful. Broth, yeah. I think as, as my, my nan used to tell me, matzo ball soup is a Jewish penicillin, right? But another classic that Rosenfeld's does well, their potato latkes, which unlike at home are deep fried. Anyone who's been to their fair share of Hanukkah celebrations knows you're either a sour cream or an applesauce type of person. And luckily here, you can get both and no one will judge. But their latkes are almost so full of flavor, you can eat them just the way they are. What I love about the deep fries almost seals in the flavor of that latke, so when you bite in there, it kind of all bursts out there. Even our foodie photog Mike was amazed, going in bite after bite after bite when he had his turn. I don't know how you make potato light, but somehow you have succeeded. But then owner Warren Rosenfeld broke away from tradition with this dish, the Big Mocker. French fries, brisket, marinara sauce, and onions, then topped with American cheese before it hits the oven. Big Mocker in Yiddish means an important person. And this was a big appetizer. It's a table appetizer, so we named it the Big Mocker. And no shocker here, the big dish had big taste. Warren, that all works so well together. The marinara, the nice juicy brisket, the cheese, and the Sidewinder fries are just enough because they're big enough where they can kind of hold it all together. But of course, when you think of Rosenfeld's, their most iconic product might be their oversized sandwiches. For us, we tried two, the For the Birds, which features turkey, Munster cheese, Russian dressing and coleslaw, and the Paul's traditional Reuben, named after Warren's brother-in-law, featuring corned beef, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, and Russian dressing. The sandwiches start out at eight ounces and go all the way up to 40. We tried the 12 ounce version, which was plenty big enough to give Mike just a little bit of trouble. You know it's a big sandwich because it made my PMJ act up. <laughs> I'll have to be careful. And of course the sandwiches were delicious, but the Reuben for me took me instantly back to some of my fondest childhood memories. Obviously downtown delicious right here, uh, but more importantly this reminds me of my dad and I going out to get lunch, getting sandwiches, getting a Dr. Brown's cream soda, yep. and um, you can't put a price on that memory. And if you'd like to try Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli in Rehoboth, they're located at 18949 on Coastal Highway, but they also have locations in Ocean City and Wilmington and will soon be opening up another one in Bethany. Of course, if you go and we recommend that you do, let them know that you saw them on Foodie Friday.